Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Today, I have for you guys an awesome 300k market crash team, and it is team of the year, and it has been kind of a letdown so far. The first day, we did get Suarez and Neuer, who weren't like the worst SBCs, but they really weren't that great. They could have been a bit cheaper. Suarez, I think, was about 125k, so not a bad price, but if he wanted to make the SBCs a lot better, they would have made that Suarez like 75k, and the Neuer like 50k. I just can't like wrap my head around spending that many coins on a goalkeeper that's untradeable and Neuer this year really isn't as good as other years so it could have made it a lot cheaper and uh, the second day we did go ahead and get David Luiz who was a really bad SBC in my opinion. He's a decent card, definitely one of the best center backs in the game but for the price I do think it's about 400k that's way too expensive it really should have been like 200k maybe 250k but 400k just seems like it's a bit too much especially for an untradeable let me know down below in the comment section your opinion so far on team of the year i do think it's a letdown but hopefully they bring it back and they drop better spcs in the next couple days so drop a like on this video if you guys do enjoy subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and get into this team the goalkeeper is gonna be from the Bundesliga, and we're gonna be going with neuer a really solid goalkeeper not as good as other years but for about 24k you really can't go wrong he did drop in price quite a bit with the flashback being released and then the center back on the left hand side we're gonna be going with Sule the best center back in the Bundesliga this guy something about him just makes him incredible in game he does have really low agility and balance but actually doesn't feel like a bust really good sprint speed very strong can bully anyone off the ball and he's 6'5 so massive and the left back we're gonna be going with the blue tag of Fico a really solid player not the best pace but it is good enough and defensively this guy is actually really good he does have high high rate grades 5 foot 8 so kind of small but heading really doesn't matter he feels quite agile in the game is okay on the ball and defensively as i've said is really solid 92 stamina so he doesn't get tired and the center back on the right hand side it is going to be a Bundesliga player that is going to be a kanji and this guy is a really op player 78 pace 80 through defending 6 foot 2, really solid, similar to like Edermo Tau. This guy just in game is super fast, 85 sprint speed, 85 stand tackle. Not too bad on the ball either, 76 ball control, has decent passing, for the price you're paying, not a bad center back, only about 5k, and the right back, it is going to be the best right back in the Bundesliga, that is going to be Mbabu, and you guys may have his, I think it's a road to the final card, I myself don't have it, I do have it as a loan, I kind of regret not getting it, Mbabu, as I've said, the best right back in the Bundesliga, 91 pace, 82 physical, 6'2", great defensively, not too bad on the attack, really strong, really good sprint speed, and that right there has been the back line. The center mid on the right hand side, it is going to be a Premier League player. That is going to be Fabinho, a really good player this year. Not as good as last year, but still he is usable. And I think the pace kind of puts people off, but in a game, he really doesn't feel slow. He's 6'2", 85 defending, a complete rock defensively. Not too bad on the ball either, although he is kind of clunky. That's really the only issue. On the ball he's clunky, but off of the ball, this guy actually, as I've said, isn't that slow. Just go ahead and slap a country out, and he's good to go. And the other center mid on the left hand side, it is going to be his teammate, that is going to be Wijnaldum. A really OP player, every stab of 70, high high work rates, really good on the attack and also defensively, four shot skills, great on the ball, has a decent shot on him, 90 through stamina so he doesn't get tired. One of the better midfielders in the Prem. Then the left mid, it is going to be the inform Promes. This guy is one of my favorite players on FIFA. And you guys may have his OTW card. It did get re-released the other day. And I think it was really cheap. So most of you guys probably have it. And go ahead and just stick them in this team instead. They're both the same card basically. He does have 92 pace, 82 shooting, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot. I only paid about 14k for this card. So really cheap. And this guy in game is really fun to use. He has those 5 star skills. Rapid pace, decent finishing, and incredible on the ball, quite agile, and he actually isn't that weak. I would put him on the same level of like Dembele, this guy's that good, and you can tell by the record I scored quite a few goals with him. He either scores or gets an assist like almost every game. Even if you guys don't have him in your team, I would highly recommend him as a super sub. Then the right mid, it is going to be the most expensive player, that is going to be Salah. Now this guy this year is actually quite cheap, 
and I'm kind of surprised by his price. I only paid about 125k and he was about 160k a couple of days ago so he dropped in price by a substantial amount not by like a lot but if you guys had him before that you did lose quite a few coins so 125k he's quite cheap considering how well he plays in game 93 pace 74 physical this guy just has everything other than the weak foot that's really the only issue but that left foot is insane, an awesome finesse shot, 93 pace, 89 dribbling, not the weakest player either, he actually is fairly strong, and on the ball this guy's super agile, has great balance, just amazing dribbling overall, you really can't go wrong for the price you're paying, one of the best wingers on the game, then the center forward, it is going to be the Frenchman Lacazette, and this guy is kind of underrated this year, not too many people use him, and it's mainly because of the pace, 82 pace seems like it's a bit on the low side, but in game he's actually quite fast, all he really needs is a chemistry cell and other than that he's good he does have an awesome shot really good finishing on the ball he's great and actually not that weak either 73 strength for the price you're paying you really can't go wrong one of the better strikers in the prem and he plays really well as a cam in the 4-2-3-1 especially with the work rates being high high he helps out quite a bit defensively and on the attack this guy is insane then the final player the striker it is going to be his teammate that is going to be Aubameyang and this guy is a scoring machine and about 80k so drop down in price quite a bit he was about 105k for under 100k the best striker in the prem i would take him over aguero he has 94 pace 85 shooting six foot two four star four star a really complete striker this guy has everything nice pace not the most agile player on the ball that's really one of the only issues he is kind of clunky but this guy has really good finishing, is quite strong, and the price isn't too bad. So that right there has been the team built for about 300k, an awesome team. And showing you guys how it does play in game, I do play in the 4-2-3-1. Wijnaldum and Fabinho do play as the CDMs, then Lacazette, Promes, and Salah as the cams, and that striker Aubameyang. That's the best way to play with this team in the game. You can also play in the 4 one 2 2 second variation. Play Fabinho as a CDM, Lacazette as a center mid, then Promes at Cam and up top Aubameyang and Salah. Either formation does work, I usually switch in between both. And I'll show you guys my player instructions. I set the right back and left back on stay back while attacking. The CDMs on cut passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover center. The Cams on stay forward and the striker on stay forward, get it behind and stay central. Those right there are my player instructions. Go ahead and copy them, see if they work for you. And again, that right there has been the 300k market crash team done an awesome team for that price the whole market right now is a bit weird honestly some of these players are really cheap and the team of the year cards are also kind of cheap in my opinion let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next subscribe if you're new hopefully you guys have enjoyed it's been etg and i'll see you guys next time peace out